Okay, so we have a little bit of a problem. So. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another Daily to Frames. It's been a while since we've made been, a daily yes. video because yeah. we've just been doing normal, busy, busy doing Good chores busy. and life stuff and not really anything exciting for you guys to watch. But <laughs> we decided we're going to come to Barragona today with some new friends that have just moved down. There's Dave over here. So if you're looking for Dave, Dave's here. And then there's Rob and Tracy. <laughs> Hello. And, uh, so fellow Canadians that have escaped Canada to paradise. And we're going to show them what Mel Gibson's beach is all about. Hopefully Mel's here this time. Yeah, you hopefully. Think? Yeah. We'll have to see. We'll go knock on we'll, his we'll gate We'll go down to see. the far end of the beach and see if we can actually okay. finally have a run in with yeah, him. Yeah, hopefully he's here, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we haven't done a video at Barragona for a while since we first moved down. And that road that comes in was really bad. I'll put a clip in of us going through the mud in there. Very good, <laughs> Job. How's that feel? That was good. So it's a much better now, easier road to get down, so it's easier to get to this beach. But yeah, we're gonna walk down and set up under the trees. Okay, so when you come to Barragona, the parking lot is at the, I guess it'd be the south end of it. It's not really, but it's just the way the beach is laid out. It's gonna be like the south east, I guess. But yeah, you'll come to the parking lot, which is just behind me here. And then um, you can set up there. There's tree, trees along here you can set in there and have some shade. But we actually walk down to the far end of the beach. And that's where Mel Gibson's gate is to his property. It lines the whole beach, it's 500 acres. And yeah, we walked down there, there's a lot of shade there. Water's a little nicer down there. And uh, yeah, the waters can get pretty rough here, but down there it seems to have a little more of a flat spot, which is nice for kids or just swimming and lounging. But yeah, this is, uh, this is how far we gotta walk, check it out. And the sand here is really nice and powdery and white too, but um, the handle in the cooler just broke. It's an older cooler, things don't last here. So now I gotta carry it. So I'm gonna put you guys down until we get down to the other end. Okay, so we made it down this end after having to carry the cooler now. Dave and I somewhat handled it, didn't we? We did, we did drop it once. Mm -hmm. So there's sand all over your Coronas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's how they should be anyway. There should always be sand on Coronas. But yeah, this, uh, this end's really nice. Like I said, there's all these trees here. So you can sit under the shade and that's your view behind. So I'm gonna put my sandals on and show you how to get down to the gate to Mel Gibson's 
So yeah, just behind where these trees are, you'll find the path. It's really nice, so there's all these coconut palms. And then it's all lined with tall coconut palms. So yeah, just down this pathway here. And uh, apparently you can actually rent this house. I don't know if you have to do it, like if it's just per room or if you have to rent the whole house, but I think it's like $400 a night per room, US, um, somewhere around there. It's called uh, Hacienda Barragona. So you can find it online and uh, yeah, you can rent Mel Gibson's house and stay there if you want. Yeah, here's the uh, trail. Well, they actually have uh, warning signs now not to enter. Those weren't there before. Yeah, this is his gate here. They actually have it uh, unlocked because people are probably staying there and then going to the beach. There's a big uh, golden or or weaver here. I don't know if this will pick it up. I would not stay. Look at that spider guys. Amazing. So yeah, that's crazy, those golden orb weaver spiders, how big they were. It was like two inches of body. I don't know how well it picked it up on the camera. You guys would have seen if it picks up, but yeah, so that's Mel's gate. <laughs> but yeah, it was unlocked, so there must be people staying there right now. Watch out for spiders. <laughs> Jaden's scared of spiders. Why are you scared of spiders? I don't like Especially ones like that. <laughs> okay, so we have a little bit of a problem. So every time we come to Playa Baragona, which is known as Mel Gibson Beach because it lines his property, we call him, we send him a message on WhatsApp, and he never responds to us. And then we come here and we enjoy his beach and we sit, you know, close outside his gate. He doesn't even come say hi. The guy's rude. I don't know, maybe he has better things to do, but he shouldn't. He should be out here being a good host saying hello to us, hanging out, maybe bring a margarita, something like that, but no, no, nowhere to be found once again. Don't see you anywhere, Mel. What's up? I just love the sand here. It's definitely one of our favorite beaches just because of the sand alone. And the water's a little more turquoise here, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, I was gonna walk down to the, uh, there's some tide pools down here. So I'm gonna show you guys that as well. So you can uh, head down there. You can actually, there's one pool you can actually sit in, or there's probably a couple. But yeah, look at that. This water. Super clear too. It's not even the clearest right now, but like December, end of December, it'll be a lot more clear. So when you come and stay with us at Sea Casa, this is in the dry season, only about 20, 20 to 25 minutes to get here. As you saw in the opening clip, going through the river, it's low enough so you can drive a SUV through it or a quad, but uh, not a car. I mean, some people do, but it was too steep going up. It was actually spinning out in four wheel drive so, or all wheel drive. So yeah, it's uh, not too far. And then in the rainy season, you just have to go up and around. So it's maybe an extra 15 minutes. So you might be 35 to 40 minutes to get here, which still isn't too bad to get to an awesome beach like this. But yeah, just at the uh, tide pools now, and at the end, actually, when the tide's coming in, which it is right now, so I'm gonna show you guys when it gets closer in, the waves will crash off the end of that, it's really cool. And then there's the uh, the cliffs here. Kind of makes a little bay over there, it's really neat. And we're here on, it's Wednesday, so there's not a lot of people here. On the weekend, you're gonna find a lot more Costa Ricans that come in from San Jose or areas like that. And uh, it'll be a little busier on the beach, but during the week, it's almost, you almost have it to yourself. Yeah, it's too bad. There's like, there's so much plastic that washes up. It's not as bad as it was a couple weeks ago, but it just shows you how much plastic there is in the ocean. But yeah, this is it. This is the tide pools here. So yeah, there's like a little pool over here. I don't have my sandals on, so I don't want to walk over there. Actually, you know what? I will. <laughs> I have band-aids in my uh, 
in my backpack I always have band-aids because you never know it's actually not too sharp and it's dry so it's easy to walk on but yeah I took some photos here before with the drone above I'll put one in right now so you can see but yeah it's really cool but yeah see you can just lounge in there it's probably not the most comfortable but be warm It'd be like a hot tub but yeah you can see from here I'll zoom in as much as I can with this lens just how uh, how kind of white the sand is it's almost pink and then the water so turquoise blue that was a hard spot <laughs> all right so enough talking I'm gonna show you some visuals of Playa Barragona All right, so that was fun shooting all that footage for you to see and uh, just getting out here and being creative. 
think I got some good photos too. I'll put, if I did, I'll put one in now or two. Yeah, and the water's super warm, but yeah, definitely a stronger pull here than Samara or Playa Carillo. What do you think, Rob? Yo! Two thumbs up? Three, three thumbs up. Three thumbs up. I heard they called you Rob Three Thumbs. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Beats uh, winter in Canada. Yeah. No, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I figured I so. I see snow again, I'm good. Yeah, it's maybe on TV if you watch like The Grinch or something. Yeah. Then yeah. it's okay. I'll watch a Christmas show yeah. with snow in it. Yeah. And that'll do me just fine. Yeah. I have pictures of snow in Canada. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> you, if you really miss it, you can just stick ice cubes down That's your right. shorts or something, yeah. He might even do that anyway, I don't know. Oh, there I am again. What do you think, Dave? Better than gyro? Yes. <laughs> Much better than gyro. <laughs> There was a uh, you from Kelowna or Vancouver. Yeah. I know what we're talking about. Yeah, I'd never actually gone to Gyro. What? No, I'd never gone. Oh man. Yeah. Well, What's you didn't gyro? miss out on money. No, I know. Yeah. Give this gap. Come on over, Chris. Oh yeah. And of course, Rob is gonna master the jump. Yeah. yeah. He's the parkour king. Parkour. He invented parkour. Oh, but he's going this. He's going this slow. Look at, look at him. He's going the easy way. That's what old people do. That's what old people do. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> at my age, I've got to be so careful. I could die at any moment. <laughs> That's true. I'm not going to argue that. No. So we've hung out here for a while now. Sun has set, as you just saw. Amazing sunset here. Uh, got some good photos. We gotta head out before it gets too dark. We gotta walk all the way back down that way to the car. And we gotta carry the cooler. It's still probably half full, I guess. Have to empty that, so. Yeah, thanks for watching and hanging out with us here at the beach. Also wanna say a big thank you to Rob and Chi, as well as Jason and Brooke, our newest Patreon supporters. Thanks for your support. Your monthly donation helps us can Continuing to make videos, uh, update gear if it fails, uh, paying for hotels, things like that if we're going to shoot somewhere. So thank you very much. If you want to support us on Patreon, link is below. Again, this all goes back into our videos. We're not using it for anything else, just for making content for you guys to watch. And uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come with new videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Hold my beer. <laughs> Hold my beer. You're, you're high tech. Hold Literally. My Look at the size of Rob's beer. It's the size of my head. Yeah. He just went went going uh, taking it easy today. Hey, Rob. Oh yeah. Yeah. Shoot. Oh. Get it together, Rob. You have to bring so much stuff just to go to the beach. I know. No, you want just me? Yeah. Oh. No margaritas. No. <laughs> what I'm trying to say. No. Start over. We've said I'm good.